So I think I finally figured out the answer to Baldi's impossible question. And it's been in front of us the entire time. I'm Kindly Key and welcome back to Baldi's Basics. Baldi's going down today. I'm on to you and your secrets. You think you're so tough with that stupid ruler? You don't scare me anymore, Baldi. Why does Baldi not scare me anymore? Because I have the power of mods by Fast Guy. And there are so many cool things that you can do with this mod. Like for instance, I can teleport. I can teleport characters so I can make Baldi uh, go away. Randomize character positions. Go away, Baldi. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Randomize item positions. Oh, okay. That's normally where the quarter would pop up, right? What the heck is scene manager? Oh, interesting. What happens if I hit warning? <laughs> what? <laughs> you, I was playing the game and you took me back to the title screen. Okay. Yeah, this thing has some really cool stuff. So I think we're gonna play around with it a little bit. But first, let's make Baldi mad because that is the name of the game. Actually, the name of the game, if you don't know, is Baldi's Basics. In Education and Learning, that's the full name. But you guys already knew that. But it's really about escaping angry Baldi and also trying to solve his impossible question, which might be possible now. But let's use our newfound powers to basically break Baldi. Um, I want to randomize character positions. I want to randomize item positions. Just see what happens. There's also character modifiers, which seems very scary. What is, what is Tudor Baldi? Who's that? Character active. What? Is Tudor Baldi the Baldi that just stands there? This seems bad. This is bad. It's not as bad as it might seem though, because for instance, I can make myself fly. I'm out of here. <laughs> Take that. Baldi, what are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do? I can fly. I'm a superhero. You're just a math teacher with a ruler. I like that he like, he actually like angles up to look up at us, but he has no idea how to handle this situation. Now I do want to randomize the character locations again, just to see like where they go. Let's do it. Uh. Okay, first prize did not teleport. Baldi definitely teleported. I don't know where he is. I guess he's living his best life. Good for him. Oh, there he is. You're never gonna catch me, dude. I'm too powerful. I can go through walls, I can fly. I can teleport you with the power of my fingertips. This is amazing. I have too much power though. Notebook teleporter. You know, I appreciate that all of these have specific names. That's new. Teleport you to geography notebook. Which one is the geography notebook? The yellow notebook is the geography notebook? Why? Because it says world in the class? I guess. <laughs> I guess that is pretty top tier geography learning right there. The world. It's big. Class dismissed. I feel like I know so much now. Let's get the geography notebook. And you know what? Let's answer it all wrong because we're rebels. Now let's find out what the English notebook is. Ah, of course. It's the G healthy notebook. The green notebook. I have always thought of this one as the Gatorade notebook, not English. This is the notebook you go to when you're really dehydrated and you need more electrolytes. I need my electrolytes. And here I am answering questions correctly. Just, I can't not answer them correctly, I guess. It's a habit. It's a bad habit. Or is it? Spelling notebook. What's the spelling notebook? Sorry was too lazy to add more subjects. Classroom? Okay, so this is one of the starting classrooms. I'm not sure what about this classroom seems to indicate that this is a spelling class aside from paper and pencils? Is this canon? I don't know. Let's go to the history notebook. History notebook is the wow notebook because it's amazing. You're like learning about the American Civil War and all you can say, wow, I guess that's what makes it history. Let's get it. Got a sweep. He's He's, he's a real sweeper. He's sweeping like crazy. Worth noting, uh, we can clone characters. I kind of want to clone Gotta Sweep. But first, let's go to the math notebook. Ah, that, I mean, you know, that makes sense. Math equals more math equals math, 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 more math, 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 math. A never ending paradox of math. Geology notebook? Doug? The Doug notebook is geology? Because when you dab, it shakes the earth. I'm going to do it. You see that? 
Earthquake. Geology 101. I'm sorry for dabbing. Anyways, uh, we have six notebooks now and no fear whatsoever of ever getting caught. Let's go to the final notebook, the science notebook, which is the black one. Look, a Homestar Runner reference. You guys know what Homestar Runner is? Does anybody know what Homestar Runner is anymore? It doesn't matter. Let's get the, what even was this notebook? This is science? Sort of sciency. And there you go, seven notebooks. So easy, I'm too powerful. What is that? An eighth notebook? Hold up, there's much more than eight notebooks. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven more notebooks? Is it actually gonna say eight of seven? <laughs> It totally does. What? What a strange world we're living in. I've gained too much power in Baldi's basics. You hear Baldi? He's so mad. I found your secret notebooks, you stinker. You thought they were so hidden, buried underneath the school. Well, guess what? I can fly through ground. It's a very strange sentence to say, but I said it. He is madder than I have ever experienced. <laughs> He is so mad. Did you hear the slaps? It was like a machine gun. Let's make him even madder. Wait, I can just keep collecting the same notebook over and over again? This seems broken. I was at 12. This will be 13. Yep. He's okay. Now I'm a little scared. Look at him move. He's faster than first prize at a full sprint. And he, he, the sound of his slaps are, are like sonic booms now. He's gone absolutely ballistic and I'm still not scared. Why? Because I can fly. Although, he did get a little close there. I need to go up. Okay, I'm up. <laughs> Look at this goofball. 15 of seven notebooks. That's a that's a weird situation for sure. Oh! That got a little too close. Okay. When you anger Baldi, there's nothing that's going to stop him. And that is something that we are learning. He is a truly powerful creature. How did I end up here? Uh very confused. I'm glad I found you too. Well, that was weird, but also awesome. Let's anger Baldi again. This time though, I want to do some cloning and I want to clone first prize and also got a sweep together. I want to see their powers combined when we create a, a army of the two. They're pushers. They're pushy guys. That's okay. They just want to do a job. First prize wants to hug, got a sweep wants to sweep. So first things first, I need to be able to fly so that I can escape what we're about to create. And then stage two, character modifiers. First prize, clone character. I'm, I'm clicking a lot, like a lot, a lot. I don't even know how many times I've clicked. Let's see, where are you buddy? Where's first prize? Oh, oh, oh. I've created a first prize traffic jam. Um, <laughs> maybe I should teleport the characters. Can I, I can do that, right? Random teleporter, randomized character positions. It did not teleport the the mass of first prizes over here. Um, guys. <laughs> oh my <laughs> That is amazing. Honestly, that is, that is one of the most amazing things that I think I've ever done in Baldi's Basics. You can't stop me. Let's get God of Sweep cloned. Clone up, bud. We've done it. Uh, is there, is there more than one here? Are they just like stacked like a deck of cards or, uh, I'm not sure what's going on with God of Sweep. I'm a little, I'm a little scared. The game definitely lagged when I popped out of the mod menu. <laughs> First prize just, he's everywhere. He's everywhere. <laughs> Gotta sweep sounds louder, which makes me think that there's more than one of them, but I can't see more than one of them. Maybe I need to teleport them around? I can delete the clones. Teleport character to you. What is that gonna do? Is he just gonna be in the ceiling? Yeah, okay. So I teleported the original gotta sweep, and now there's still a gotta sweep over here, which makes me think there's a gotta sweep stack, but maybe they're stuck because of the first prizes? Let's delete the first prizes, which is very very weird sentence. Delete. You're free? Are you? You're not free. Okay. Delete. Delete. Gotta sweep clones? Clone character. Let's just do one clone. I did one clone and he doesn't seem to be moving. I guess gotta sweep is, is immune to cloning technology. One day, maybe we'll advance to the point where we can clone brooms, but I guess today's not the day. Oh, wait. Did he move? I think he moved. Uh, there's one. Is the other, is the clone somewhere else? Where's the clone? Where, where's the clone? I hear him. There's all kinds of chaos happening. It's moving playtime around as one does. I don't know where he went. Wait, he went back to his broom closet. All right, that's fine. You live your best life.
life got a sweep. Okay, now there are some gameplay modifiers here that I need to know. Like lethal touch. Okay, so you can basically make it so that any character in the game can end your, your run. That's awful. Could you imagine playtime in principle being able to do what Baldi does basically? That's a nightmare. But let's talk about Stormy Night. What does this do? Lowers the volume of all sounds, makes the school dark, plays muffled rain sounds, lightning. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's really dark. Uh, okay, that's creepy. We're gonna get lightning every five to 10 seconds. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. That is awesome. It's really, really dark though. Like I can barely see unless you have the lightning. Fortunately, who needs to see when you can fly? Now, what about Slender Tutor? Is this gonna make Baldi like super skinny? He doesn't look any different to me. I mean, he's already a pretty skinny dude. Maybe Tutor, right? That was, that was a different character. That was this. Maybe? Active. Let's see. Slender Tutor. You're supposed to be right here. I don't know what Slender Tutor is. Someone turn the lights back on, though. I don't like it here. Mirror mode? Oh, this is gonna mess with my head. Let's do it. Duh! Okay, so it, it, it flips everything. Notably, also flips the text on the walls. <laughs> so it's literally like you're looking at it through a mirror. Oh my gosh. A little disorienting. And then on top of that, why not add an earthquake? Oh gosh. Oh! No, no, this, oh gosh, okay, I hate this. You can increase the intensity of this, set it to 100. Ah! No! <laughs> if I wasn't flying right now, this would just completely ruin my day. Okay, I gotta turn that off. <sighs> Other modifiers. Night Skybox. Oh, that's pretty cool. But I think this, this right here is what we've all been waiting for. So I've reset the game and I've enabled this other modifier 42, set it to true. Now, what does this mean? If my theory is correct, then actually the answer of Baldi's impossible question, which we have never been able to properly answer, is simply 42. 42. Here I was thinking this whole time, it was 12, trying to force it, trying to make it true by trying it over and over and over and over. But truly the answer was right before our eyes the whole time. Solve math question three, the impossible question. He's not even speaking English. He's speaking some kind of alien language. But if, you, we, but if we know anything about aliens, it's that they love the number 42. Enter. My work here is done. Okay, but for real, how amazing is that? We're on the second notebook and we have not angered Baldi. He's just there, a normal, still kind of weird math teacher. We can collect every single notebook without the fear of reprimand from Baldi and his ruler. The answer. 42, just 42, 40, 42, 42, not 423, be careful. Aliens are very, very specific about their impossible math questions. It's always 42, just 42. I, honestly, the fact that this has eluded us for so long and the answer is just 42, it's all it took, it's all it took, it's unreal. Wait, what? Okay, I don't think I've ever seen that before. That is really, really strange. Because normally this is blocked off because the exits go away after you fail to answer Baldi's question. Now, here's my question though. Once we answer all of the questions correctly, does Baldi just come over and give us a high five because we're such great math students? Or does he just lose his mind as he does because he's still Baldi. We must find out. But I'm just gonna casually walk through the halls of Baldi's schoolhouse and just get my proper education like a normal student would any day of the week. Instead of having to fight for my life against a maniacal math teacher, I can just do math. It's so pleasant. It's so nice. It's all I ever wanted. I just wanted to do some basic arithmetic and have a good day at school. And that's exactly what I'm getting right now. I almost just typed 12 just by habit. I need to, to adjust my thinking, my way of life, everything. It's always 42. May we never forget the power of 42. The final notebook 
42. I do exist. Seven times I got to hear Baldi say I exist. Thank you. You're gonna come over and give me a high five? Thank you. Get a high five from Baldi. Excuse me? Apparently once Baldi, always Baldi. He'll never change. He's still a maniac, but at least we still have the answer. And maybe that's why he's so upset. We finally figured it out. He thought he was so smart, so clever. It only took like, what, three years? Better late than never. That's what I always say. We're escaping this school and we're just go home and eat a sandwich or something. Watch some anime, live our best life. Look at him smiling, but with a little smirk of true. Look at him just smiling at us. He knows he has been defeated. Here, have some soda. See ya.